Hey, Rest Friends. My name is Edie. If you are new to our channel, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. On this channel, we talk about wrestling with a little mix of pop culture. And today we are focusing more on that pop culture side. I am going to show you everything that I bought at C2E2, the Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo. Honestly, it's amazing. It's filled with incredible artists. And each year, C2E2 does an amazing job of showcasing people and their work in Artist Alley. While some of my things are wrestling related, um, there are some things that are more Marvel related, which Spidey, Spidey and the ladies, we don't talk about Gwen. So I'm just going to show you some of the amazing prints that I bought. I am going to try to find all of the artist information and put it in my description box down below. I did get some of the business cards that came. When you purchase something, sometimes they give you a business card. I'm going to try to place everything together with the artist that, you know, should it should belong to. But um, this is my whole baggie. This is my baggie. I'm so excited. So I'm just going to try to go in order of which I purchased the items. So let's start. First and foremost, we have Miss Wanda, Miss Wanda Maximoff uh, from WandaVision, but also she's an Avenger. So, okay. And this is by Nate Jones, who is a fantastic, fantastic artist. And I have a couple of his prints in my room already here. I'll tilt the camera so you can, so you can see. Let me put Wanda down. There's Captain America and there's Peter Parker. And I really like the way that my art fell. Okay. But I really love the way that he just creates because I would have never thought to, to make their faces quotes. It's just something magical, honestly. Um, this one says, you are a body of wires and blood and bones that I created. You are my sadness and my hope, but mostly you are my love. And if you didn't cry during WandaVision, what were you doing? What were you doing? You, you probably didn't even watch it right if you didn't cry. I have purchased from Nate before. And when I saw him at the booth, I was like, oh my goodness, Nate, I have bought things from you before. And he's like, hey, like I thought I recognized you. Uh, we follow each other on Instagram. So I'm going to put his Instagram info. And I'm like, do you have Wanda? And he did. He had Wanda. And then he had her pair. Next on this list, we have Vision. How beautiful. How beautiful. And he had them right next to each other. And he even gave me a discount on them, which I was like, oh my goodness. But Vision says, I've always been alone. So I don't feel the lack. It's all I've ever known. I've never experienced loss because I've never had a loved one to lose. But what is grief if not love persevering? Please, please. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, so these were two giant prints. They're very giant. And I do have this thing where I like to keep like all of the arts that one artist has made like together. So I will probably put these right next to um, Peter Parker and Captain America. Oh, look, I found Nate's business card. Look at how cool it is. He is his art. Incredible. Okay. Moving on. Oh my God. Look, so... At C2E2, I really also love the fact that they have a lot of celebrities. And this year they had my hero, John Cena. And if you know me, you know that I am in love with John Cena. He is literally the most amazing person to have ever exist. And if you listen to the restaurants podcast, I talked about what it was like meeting him and it was just phenomenal. So I did take a photo with John Cena. I'll put it up here so you can see it better. But I can just show you picture too. Look, it was magical. It was a great moment for me in my life. I will never forget it. And I would pay a million dollars to see him again. But there was this great artist who I will find. I will find the information. I promise you. But look at how beautiful. Look at how beautiful this print is. It's just amazing. And I had seen it all of C2E2 and it was giant. It was in a stand and it was beautiful, very huge. And I'm like, oh my God, that has to be worth like $5,000. There's no way I can afford that. And the very last day that we were at the convention, Teddy and I walked by this table and I asked the artist if he had smaller prints. And he said, yeah, look, it's, it's right here. And he popped out with this. I had to take it. I had to take it. I could not leave it. It was literally... The only thing that I could look at all weekend 
And after meeting John Cena, it just like was a need. It's beautiful. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but my wall has a lot of arts already. Sir, please. And the artist's autograph is on the back, which I love. I love that all of the artists sign their autograph. You guys are probably saying, that doesn't look like anything. What is that autograph? Mind your business, okay? What else is in here? Oh, so I also got to meet Adam Cole, baby. Here's the picture of that. And I got an autograph. It says, to Iridian. Also, Adam Cole liked my name. So you can't tell me anything, okay? Adam Cole, baby. Boom. It was great. He was so nice. Also, this print I stole from the John Cena meet and greet. I should have got it signed. I feel like I could have snuck it in. But I, it would have haunted me for the rest of my life that I didn't pay for it. But, but if you didn't have anything for John Cena to sign, which I forgot. I have to get the Funko Pop. I'll show you guys right now. But if you didn't have anything for John Cena to sign, they had a couple of prints there. And I said, hey, can I have one? And they're like, yeah, sure. You just have to like put it away so he doesn't sign it. And I was like, all right, cool. Because I only had paid for one thing. So I took this because I thought it was cool. Peacemaker. They'll probably go together with my picture. Oh my God, it's going to be so cute. Jesus Christ. Okay, next. Oh, I only have two more things left. Okay. Okay, so you already saw a little bit of it. I live in Chicago and I've lived in Chicago my whole life. And every day when I go to work, I see the Chicago theater sign. And I think it's the most beautiful sign in the whole world. And my favorite superhero in the entire world is Spider-Man. I've loved him since I was a little kid. Amazing. Like, Spider-Man has just been it for me. Like, come on. So I was walking, walking by this booth and I see this. And I'm just looking at it and the artist is looking at me, look at it. And I was just like, oh my goodness, this is spectacular. I've never seen anything like it. And he's like, oh, I made it specifically for C2E2. It's a Chicago special and there's limited amounts. I had to take it. Oh my goodness. I had to take it. And it's literally so beautiful. This is like holographic almost. And it's just perfect. It's just perfect. And this is by Sean Anderson. It's a Chicago exclusive. Um, his business card is right here. But again, I'm going to put all of the artist info in the description box below. So you guys can just check out people's art because if you, even if you don't buy anything, looking at it and sharing their page and sharing their art means so much to someone you don't even know. Because maybe you don't buy something, but because you shared it, someone else does, you know? This was the other print, the other Chicago exclusive. One is gold, one is silver, but they still have the Chicago buildings in the back. And I also pass by this building to go to work every day. And hold on. Please, you do not tell me that does not look freaking amazing. Amazing. And I took this one too. So people are just so talented and so incredible and so friendly at these events. It's just amazing. I love all of my prints that I purchased. And it's something that I love about C2E2 is that they do an amazing job of showcasing the artists. So ta-da. Hold on. I also need to show you my Funko Pop that John Cena signed with my name. With my name. Hold. I'm going to pause you really quick. Hold on. Look, this is my Funko Pop that's autographed by John Cena. It says my name at the top. It's just so great. It's so beautiful. A lot of people were saying, well, why did you get it signed with your name on it? First of all, I am never going to sell this Funko Pop. John Cena touched this. He shook my hand after this. Like, it just means so much to me that I could never, I'm not a reseller. I open up my Funko Pops and I look at them like they're my Funko Pops. And it was very controversial to take the Funko Pops out of the box. But like I bought them. They're mine. It was just amazing. Amazing. But these are some of the things that I got at C2E2. And I hope that you guys look into the convention, look into the events and definitely check out these amazing artists because 
the prints are incredible and their art is amazing and they are amazing. So I really hope that you guys check them out. If you guys liked this video, make sure that you leave a like and that you subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed. All of the likes and the comments really help get our channel out there, really help our videos to be seen, and they help us grow as a channel. So we would really, really appreciate it if you guys give us a like and comment and even share the video. Thank you so much for sticking around all the way up to this point. If you're still here, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Teddy appreciates you. Rest friends, we appreciate you. If you want more content like this, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. Tell us on social media at Rest Friends on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Let us know what kind of other videos you want to see. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, Rest Friends.